guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so what I'm going to tie is sort of like a, a grey boy buzzer tonight. Uh, so this is a barbless uh, check nymph style hook, use a buzzer hook, use a grubber hook, whatever suits you. I just like the colour of this. Uh, and this one happens to be a black nickel because I like the lack of contrast, shall we say, because we're tying like a blacky grey type body to it. Uh, whereas if you use a bronze hook, maybe it's a bit more visible, but that may be an attractor in a certain way. So um, anyway, we're going to tie using a black tying thread today. So I'm going to add that on. And uh, we're going to have two ribs on this fly. Uh, so the first one I'm going to use is very fine uh, red holographic tinsel. You could use wire as well. Wire give a little bit more uh, texture to the fly. Maybe not as much flash and a little bit of extra weight up to yourself. Uh, and the other one then is going to be this white flexi floss or span flex or whatever you want to, to call it. So some people will tie them in at the back. Uh, I am going to tie it in at the front here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie across that. And then I'm going to stretch it tight. Stretching it means that it won't thicken the fly as I go around. I'm going to go partly around the bend there as buzzers tend to be curved to me. Although you can tie this as a straight hooked version. So tag ends of these here then need removed. I'll trim those off. And then I'm going to flip the fly over onto its side for me because as I said I find that easier to wrap into the the gape of the hook until I get started there and then I can take I think it was even I caught the point of the hook there I find it easier more natural because I'm wrapping that way as a right hand tire to flip the hook over when I'm wrapping but for show and use it's better this way up so I'm gonna go back and forward along the shank here so as I come down here I'm going about three quarters of the way down then I'll come back up then I'll go back down but I'll go halfway down this time and come back up and the next time I go back maybe a, a third or a quarter of the way and in that respect I create a taper to my body. So um, what we'll do is to wrap the red tinsel in open turns. We're leaving a gap in between where our span flex or flexi floss or whatever you want to call it is going to fit. Get to the front here, take a couple of extra wraps. They're going to be covered by the thorax so you'll not see them. Trim it off. And then I'm going to flip the fly sort of on its side so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm starting off tight. tighter you pull it the thinner the uh, flexi floss is. And I'm going to wrap there so what I'm doing is I'm getting between my wraps of holographic and then less tension as I come towards the front. So now at the front it's taking up more of that gap between them 
come to the front here, tighten it up again on a couple of turns, catch it, I'll hold it back on itself and tie over that and that. Finishes the body section off. So, uh, what I'm going to tie on now, the we're going to have cheeks on this fly, which you could either use bayet for, uh, or you could use span flex. So a lot of uh, modern flies are going to be tied with uh, span flex. So you want to use something like a uh, sunburst or bright yellow or gold or something along the lines of that. So this is one of those. So I'm going to tie it in underneath. And then I'm going to pull those to stretch them and tie backwards to meet my body. So those are underneath because when I tie them in, I'm going to tie them in like this across top, and that gives me that angle to my cheek. And next, then we want a flash cover. Uh, so for that, I'm going to use a heavy Mirage tinsel. I'm going to use a large Mirage Opal. I'm going to set that up on top slightly to my side and pinched onto the side. And the reason for that is as I wrap over, that's going to rotate up onto the top side of the fly. Tie that back until I'm happy with it at the back of the thorax. And if you want to add a bit of accent of colour under that, you can. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of a green flash under that. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of uh, green, fluorescent green floss. I've doubled it over, caught it on my tie and thread here and I'm going to allow that to slide down until it's exactly on top of the shank and then I'm going to wrap that back. Not 100% necessary if you find it too difficult or superfluous. And then I'm going to use my tie and thread here to create sort of a tapered front section to the fly. When I'm done, take the thread to the front. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the span flex cheek up and over. So I'm taking it over and immediately behind the eye, tying across that. And I'm going to tighten it up once there's a couple of turns on it and tie it in. I'm going to turn that off. Same on this side, I'm going to take it up and over, allowing it to flatten itself out directly behind the eye. A couple of turns to tighten, stretch it, and tighten back over it. I'm going to put in a half hitch here just so that it doesn't give and turn that off. Then I'm going to take my green floss across the top again two turns fold it back on itself trim it off and then I'm going to take my mirage across the top of the fly Tie that in, flip it back, slide my scissors down as far as they'll go and just nick it. It will rip itself once you've started the neck, it's a bit like when you cut sellotape. And then I'm just going to finish this, trying to keep the head as small as I can. I 
nick that off. So that's the fly tied. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a marker now and I'm just going to mark up the rear section of my cheeks. So that's a hot orange marker. And if you want to get fancy you can start creating multiple colours here. So if you want it to be three tone, go right to the back and just a little touch of red just to brighten it up back there. And then we're going to finish the fly. So when we finish this fly, we're going to use uh, epoxy, UV epoxy resin or UV resin. This one uh, that I use is Diamond Fine by uh, Deer Creek, tack free. And that is the keyword, I suppose. There's a lot of ones I've tried. not tech free but I do find this one of the best ones I've used so what I'm doing here is I'm starting with the head and I will put that on a blob on top and then I can just use a needle here and reposition Some of the UV cure. Uh, I'm going to do it in several stages so once I'm happy with that I'll just use the vice rocket backwards and forwards just gravity will help it to create that nice dome if you want to put it upside down. It goes out of shot for you guys when I do that and then I'm going to set that with my UV torch. So having done the top what I'm going to do is flip the thing over and put some gel onto the bottom of the head. Again, I'm just repositioning with my bud, making sure I have a nice even coverage. Then, when I'm happy with it, again, just hit it a shot with the UV torch or laser torch or whatever you want to call it. That is the thorax set and then it's time to do the body. So I'm just running a bit of that UV resin across the body and then I'm going to, because the ribs it's slightly awkward to get it evenly spread so it just takes a little bit of maneuvering backwards and forwards. You can get ones that have uh, what do you call them? brushes with them. You can use that so what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that it's nice and thinly spread especially at the very point of the body here because we want that nice Paper. So I'm just sort of brushing the resin back up that way. And again, then I'm just rocking backward and forward, which might make it a little bit awkward for you for uh, viewing, but it's essential for an even finish on the, the fly. And once I'm happy with it, that backwards and forwards rocking, I'm just letting my laser UV torch set the resin. And that is our fly tight. So it seems to be showing up slightly differently given the light there. Um, we get a picture of it later it might look more realistic but that's our fly tide so hopefully you like what you've seen if you did just a like subscribe 
Uh, check out all the other videos on the channel. And until next time, tight lines. And thanks for watching.